rolling up over black Cadillac high heel boots and a sexy body um, anyway so uh the other thing is yesterday me and the wifey went and saw Jurassic World Dominion <laughs> he's sighing he muted himself he didn't even realize it <laughs> no I didn't <clears throat> okay so um parts of it were really good yeah the CG was iffy in some places and fantastic in others. The characters were fine. The overall story mostly made sense, but there's like a whole tangent that was like dumb. Was like you didn't have to do that. Like yeah. you could have left that part out and still had the same story. That's the funny part. Yeah. They doubled up on one storyline when they didn't have to. Like they gave they gave two separate reasons to get to the same point. Yeah, and they didn't have to. Um, other than that, uh, I would That's say what I heard is that it's a fun romp. Just go in and enjoy it for what it is. Don't it was, to... it was mostly fun. I will give it that yeah. there were some, there were definitely a couple parts where I would have probably picked up my phone and just started looking at Facebook. Um, if I'm going to give it a letter grade, I would probably give it a B minus. Actually, no, I'm, I'm going to just give it a hard pretty C. High. No, no, no. I'm going to give it a hard C. It's a hard C. Okay. Because mm. I have to really think about the parts that are just so dumb. Like, wait, okay, just just for just for just for one sake. Okay, so in Fallen, uh, in like Fallen Kingdom, or in, in other parts of the Jurassic World franchise, something goes wrong. Oh, okay, you know, correct. Okay, so Fallen Kingdom. It's been out for a couple of years. You know, spoilers <laughs> if you haven't seen it. At the yeah. end of the movie, the dinosaurs are trapped in a building and they're gonna die if they don't get out. Mm-hmm. So and they have to make so they ha- yeah so they have to make a decision to let them out, which mm-hmm. causes the events of this movie. In this movie, they have a situation where all the dinosaurs are out in the wild, and they have to push a button to let them all in to safety, <laughs> which causes yeah. all the problems. So it's like, what the <laughs> fuck? I was like, you literally did. Okay, so this movie, either way, you can't win. Yeah, so this movie has an enormous amount of references to JP One. Mm. It has references to the other movies as well. Um, it has a whole lot of unexplained shit that happens. They, they sort of like expect you to just go, eh. and then like, no, your brain goes, wait, 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 come back. What the fuck was that? Where did that? Oh, next thing. Okay. Next thing. Um, the other thing they did is they did not run the prologue in front of the movie. Like they were supposed to. So the prologue sets up yeah. the, the, actually the prologue sets up a lot of shit that happens at the end of the movie, like just narratively. And they just said, fuck it. We don't need to tack on extra eight minutes to the movie just to show off what kind of CG skills we have, except for the fact that there is a direct reference to what's happening (laughs) in the prologue. And also apparently back in 2019 as a, uh, at least I heard it was 2019. Maybe it wasn't that far back. They released a 10 minute short thing to promote the movie. And it was called battle at big rock, which was fucking amazing. And, like, should have been an actual part of this movie. And it would have actually, like, made way more sense for some of the shit that happened. It's like, it would have been a perfect beginning to the movie. Yeah, it's on on the Jurassic World YouTube. So you can can watch the prologue and the Battle of Big Rock, which I did uh, last night, actually, after watching the movie. I was like, this shit should have been in the movie. (laughs) It should have been there. So it is still new, so I don't want to give away any big spoilers. But, um what I found amazing was a lot of the anti wokeness that was involved. Oh, like 10 there, minutes. Wow. Yeah. So there was, there was a lot of anti wokeness in this movie, which I thought yeah. was, which I thought was great. It's cool. um, yeah, it is. Like, which, you know, given Hollywood nowadays, they actually were definitely taking a whole lot of direct stabs at some of the shit that's going on in the world today. Um, mm-hmm. that seems absurd. Um, mm-hmm. and like, I, they actually, they set up character motivation for everybody. But like the overall motivation is silly for the, the movie's motivation is silly because just having dinosaurs now roaming the world should be enough. But the actual main story that kicks things off is not the fact that there's dinosaurs roaming the world. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only big thing about it is like, I agree. So, you know that, I mean, like while that plot line makes sense, especially, but they all, it seems like they had, 
it seems like they had uh, Logan esque things that they wanted to do in this movie with like this kind of shit's going on, but is it to blame here or is it a bigger part of a story that we don't know? So we now have to hold these people accountable. So let's go investigate this thing. So it seems like they were going that route and then said, Oh wait, we still have dinosaurs. That's right. That's the point of this fucking movie. Exactly. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a James Bond movie in a, in a way. In oh, a it, sense, it is. Right? It is. It is. But There's it, a whole spy Totally. Aspect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally. Totally is. Yeah. But it's like, oh, yeah, that's right. We got to get back to the dinosaur thing. Yeah. So, yeah. and I will say one thing about it that is not really explained at all. It's just, here's the thing. And this is a very, very small spoiler it's part of the story. So it's not a crazy thing. Mm. Where they have relocated the dinosaurs that they've captured is like the Italian Alps in a valley. Like, are you stupid? <laughs> like, really? Yeah. Do not- you know how big the Alps are? I've been to the Alps. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe not near Italy, but you know, close enough in Germany. Yeah. So I the mean, Alps are huge. Yeah. So not They're bigger all- than the Rockies. Yeah. So I mean, like, it's fine that it's a really remote location. <laughs> Uh, but and it's a random valley in the middle of there that actually does not have snow and ice like apparently it's geothermic or something because it's completely <laughs> sheltered and has really nice oh, oh, yeah. weather for dinosaurs when the rest of it's all covered in snow um Jeez. fine i can i can live with that explanation i just thought you the know there's lots of lost world in yeah, this movie exactly but to yeah. me i was like you know there's islands out there you could still stick them <laughs> yeah it was like it was like they said you know what it's kind of hard to build on an island we'll just go mm. to a remote location 100 miles into the alps instead and, we don't need that <laughs> yeah. shit anymore yeah we don't need Guam. we're Bikini not using Atoll, Guam. i mean you know evacuate could, the canary islands puerto rico puerto rico the, fo- no. the, Falkland, the Falkland islands no because yeah, we yeah, have to have a different po- well we don't want an archipelago we definitely no, only want yeah, like one big ass island but- <laughs> is a or oh, Antarctica? Look, uh, take him, take him to go to take him to Antarctica. Go through the portal, Sable, Sable you know, Island. Yeah, the Sable Island. There you go. Well, yeah. I was gonna say, just take them through the portal into the the Hollow Earth, and it'll be fine. Oh, or, man. Drop yeah. them all off in Russia and take care of two problems at once. They were everywhere, so that's um, I, they don't go to Russia, but they do spend a lot of time in a surprising amount of time in Europe. So it's not all yeah. happening. In the U.S., it does obviously it jumps over to Europe for a little bit. You know, it does do a little bit of world hopping at the beginning. You know, Hawaii. just because they have to establish where everybody. No Hawaii, <laughs> no, um, but like some of the, I will say, like the CG, the the new dinosaurs they've added, which <laughs> they were supposed to stop creating dinosaurs at some point, but nope, somebody's definitely been playing with whatever the fuck they want. Of um, course. So they introduce new versions of raptors. Mm-hmm. from somewhere they introduced the ones that they showed huh talking about the feathery ones that they showed they showed the, the feathery first... the feathery one is the um pyro raptor but that's never named in the movie and it's never explained as to why it is where it is um mm-hmm. or why yeah. it is that it can swim in frozen water you know fuck that who needs an explanation <laughs> yeah, as to why a dinosaur right. can survive in sub well, sub-zero water because um, reasons like it's not actual sub-zero water that's not a thing but um <laughs> It, but either way, it can be. It's a zero pre- water is ice. Yes, but you know what I'm getting at. It's like it's, <laughs> Not it's if under it's a frozen. Water. It's under a frozen air dives into a frozen lake and swims underwater, no problem. Yeah, I know. And then it's comes up out of the water. It's like, and it's called a pyroraptor for reasons. Um, but it's, it's the, super warm. That's why the cold water didn't I, bother. I assume that it it's has some Charizard. Type of, it can be. It's very Charizardy. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it's more Charmeleon. It's, Char- it's Charmeleon. <laughs> it's Charmeleon. Dude, it, it, there is literally like, a, who's that Charmander. Pokemon? Because they show you shit on the screen that you're like, what the fuck is this thing? And then you're, mm-hmm. and you find out that is a real dinosaur, you know, especially the ones that's like super feathered. Um, and I forgot the name of it off the top of my head, but it's got like a, it's a really cool, it's a much later dinosaur that happened where they're really kind of shrinking into birds and they have like uh, really dense feathers Arche- and shit. Archeo- not that one. Archeopteryx. Not, not, the, not the Archaeopteryx. It's another one that I can't, I don't remember the name of it, but it actually it is a, it's a ancestor of the three-toed sloth, but it's also not a mammal. So it's, it's in that weird line. Um, yeah, I think I know which one. So it's about. a it's it's technically in the trailer, but I won't tell you what where you see it. For, so if you mm-hmm. want to go see this movie, because it does actually introduce a really tense scene in the movie. Also, the new yeah. the new big bad dino in the movie, uh, the Giganotosaurus, which is 
Oh, what, the suck on my what a source? Giganotosaurus. <laughs> so he's not a giga. He's a giganata. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, oh yeah. i see what's happening here yeah yeah Giga powers mm-hmm. putting their copyrights on stuff there so we go bump out those things well mm-hmm. the thing is third party dinobot exactly it's a third party mm-hmm. dinobot but the thing is it is a it was a real dinosaur but it actually is a predecessor to the t-rex so it's not actually it's not an evolved form of the t-rex but it's the biggest the biggest predator on earth ever it's like uh you're full of shit they said That's the right. same thing with the it's Indominus weird. Rex. Well, the, well, the, the Indominus thing. was yeah. fake, though. But the, the Giganotosaurus no, is or was one of the largest predators ever. But the one thing, and I'll say this before I wrapped up this quick review of the movie, they've got to stop fucking downplaying the T-Rex. And it's and it's like, I've been watching a whole yeah. lot of videos on this kind of stuff from actual paleontologists and fans of the movies and stuff like that. The T-Rex, as they know it, had the largest bite force of anything ever. And they keep fucking making it that it, no, no, not even in theory. They said, but it's like, well, okay. So in theory, judging by the bone structure and everything else we know, because they can't prove it, (laughs) they can't prove it technically, but judging by the way we know creatures function, judging by the structure of it and all this kind of stuff, that the T-Rex had the largest bite force of any living creature ever. Yep. And they keep fucking get having T-Rexes get beat by things with lesser bite force that's so like, right. if we go back, go like, back to like a bitch. Yeah. So if you go back to JP three powered by numbers, wasn't it? That's, huh? that's how they always get it is by overwhelming numbers. Yeah. But like T-Rexes didn't do anything by numbers. T-Rexes were lone wolves for the most that's part. I'm saying that's yeah. how all the other dinosaurs beat them is, is by overwhelming numbers. Yeah. But not like in the, these movies, they're usually beat by the new big dinosaur of the movie. Uh, so again, when in theory, yeah, in theory. So whenever they put it up in JP three against the Spinosaurus mm-hmm. and yeah. If you go by the sheer number and the things that they've estimated, the Spinosaurus had significantly less bite force by like thousands of PSI, less than the T-Rex. When the T-Rex grabs it by the neck, it should have been able to just crush its fucking neck and kill it oh, big time. instantly. Yeah. That would have been a boring movie. Well, yeah, but the point is to keep the T-Rex on top because right. the T-Rex still could have been the threat. The across. Yeah, but instead they had it kill the fucking T-Rex. And then they did the payback a little bit in Jurassic World where or, uh, whenever the good old Rexy comes smashing through the Spinosaurus skeleton, which was fun. But then even then, the fucking T-Rex couldn't kill the Indominus on its own. The only yeah. main thing is there is intelligence and like the extra claws and shit like that. And the fact that the... Genetically modified, so yeah. it might have had a stronger bite force. Than well, the there, there's, nothing that, there's nothing that does support that, but what does is the uh, the fact that the Indominus had thumbs, so it can actually grab onto things, so that could make it much it harder. Turn stuff invisible. That too. Mm. So, um, but that's when it came to other, it had, they had to out-teeth it, as it were. Yeah. But, but then, um, in this one, the Giganotosaurus and the T-Rex do fight a couple times. I'll just leave it at that. So, that's part of it, but it's just like, they really, even in this movie, they downplay Rexy, and it's annoying. I don't care if she is like a 40-year-old T-Rex, she's like the fucking T-Rex. It's like, come on. It's like, let her fucking have some glory. same T-Rex from Jurassic Park 1? Yes. Re- Rexy, no as, as she's known, is the original T-Rex. No yeah. shit. Yes. So, it's pretty fucking cool. Um, even though originally they're supposed, to, if you, I've been watching. They were only supposed to have like a seven-year t- lifespan or some <clears> shit <throat> like that, wasn't it? They're supposed to start biodegrading if they didn't if, get their medicine. It was if they didn't get yeah. the uh, specific. But life, yeah, life found a way. Exactly. So yeah, but the thing is, you well, know, that's how they were able to procreate, not how they were able to not need their medicine. Well, no, because they discovered that they were eating that the herbivores were eating certain plants that filled in that uh, the thing that they needed. And yeah, no acids and, or then, and then basically the, their vitamin support, right? And yeah, then exactly. The carnivores eat them, and therefore, blah blah blah. Yeah, and then right. so the herb- herbivores were their Flintstone vitamins. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and and awesome. from there, you know, if they got to the point of breeding, which we know that almost nothing on the original island did get to the point of breeding, except the raptors that somehow bred that didn't breed. Either way, and the, um, and the T Rex. Remember, they found T Rex eggs. That's those right. weren't T Rex eggs. Those were raptor eggs. That's there's that a was, lot of bullshit. That was in the third movie, third movie was in in Raptor the third X. movie there was the uh, T Rex that got killed. We never saw the other T Rexes, 
and those are the raptors that they stole the eggs right, from. Thanks, there was a baby yeah. T-Rex in the movie. That was that's that right. was Lost World. And so and that's on the that second I, that was on the that was on site B where but they in the first were allowed movie, to breed they didn't find eggs. Whatever they did. Yes, the eggs they found were raptor eggs. Because if you look at the that's feed prints. Matter. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, you look at the okay. feed prints, it's two claws and either one way. Thing in the either way, they the were point brilliant. is the point yeah. is this movie was fun but dumb and disappointing in some aspects. But it yeah. was pretty. It definitely looked really good, except for the CG. Did they ruin having Sattler and Malcolm and Grant come back? No, they didn't yeah. ruin it. They gave them perfectly good characterizations. The only thing that was stupid about it was the um the the uh, unneeded callbacks, like Ellie shows up wearing the exact same type of, you know, like the salmon salmon shirt with the blue uh, tank top. Yeah. Uh, Grant has to wear the fucking jacket and hat at one point. Uh, mm-hmm. Malcolm is wearing all black leather and a black shirt when we see him, even though he clearly in the last few times we saw him, he wasn't wearing anything like that. It's basically you know, so. them in their 90s gear. Yeah. So they half it's the time they're in their 90s gear. The rest of the time, it's fine. I mean, they bring in other characters yeah it, i mean it's fine. except except you know he didn't show off his you know his chest oh Gold no uh, hold on no, hold on didn't. hold on almost they, they reference it they reference yeah. it yeah yeah i know i caught that too so they reference it because he realizes <laughs> at funny. one point his shirt was yeah. fairly well unbuttoned and then he buttons yeah. it up when he notices somebody looking at I, his chest i caught that too right that it's was like, great oh, yeah that's a good nod i was like that's funny i was like okay oh, that's yeah. good but I like the his introduction where he's literally trying to give like some bullshit speech to, you know, new engineers, mm. and he just yeah, sounds it, ridiculous. And I was like, it, I know, right? It's like oh, he, he's man, brought in to be a, like a sellout almost. Exactly, that was the point. Is he was brought in yeah. to be a sellout? So either it's, way, that's it's, it, yeah. It wasn't a bad movie, but it wasn't great. It was it was it was okay. Yeah, it was okay. At yeah. best, that's why I said best. it's a C. It's a C. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there were totally scenes near the end of the movie where they were just yeah. ripping it off of Jurassic oh, Park one. I will say, yeah, good sure. luck, good luck trying to re, re. What's what I'm looking for here? Or basically, good luck trying to copy the jeeps they had in that movie for less than like ninety grand. <laughs> like, oh yeah, they sure. they had they had the new version of the Jurassic Park jeeps, essentially, yeah, yeah. but they're with modern jeeps and a whole lot of new <laughs> shit on it. I was like, that's like a hundred grand fucking jeep. I was like, yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, that's uh, no. I see her rolling up over black Cadillac, high heel boots, and a sexy body full of tats.